My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. This breakdown is brought to you by Premium Membership. Premium Membership brings you all sorts of betting and fantasy tools to help you make money. Things like exclusive two, three, and four leg parlays, betting calculators, parlay calculators, daily fantasy ownership projections, fighter salary rankings, and so much more. Check it out now at wewantpicks.com. Scroll to the top and click become a member. And don't forget, we are giving away $50. All you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash bets, sign up with any one of our betting partners, make a deposit, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. That's wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, we send you 50 bucks. Next up, at UFC Vegas 59, we have Jason Witt taking on Josh Queen Lane. Jason Witt, 19 and eight overall, two and three in his last five, and he is alternating wins and losses. Josh Kinlan is 5-0 and overall, 5-0 and in his last five, and he's coming off an overturned knockout win on the Contender Series because he abuses steroids. Jason Witt is a wrestler and a grinder who's only looking for a takedown submission or TKO on top. He has absolutely no intention of engaging in a kickboxing match, and that's totally fine because the stand-up is just okay and his chin has seen better days. When he gets on top, and I'm saying when, because he averages almost seven takedowns per 15 minutes. So it's inevitable that he's going to get up on top. When he ends up on top, he has great control and pressure, which he uses to pound away. He won't hunt for a submission, but if you squirm to avoid the punches from top, he'll go ahead and sneak something in and then work from there. He is coming off the loss to Philip Rowe, which is the perfect window into Jason Witt as a fighter. Dominated the grappling. Had four takedowns, an entire round of control, just to be hit and then knocked out. Philip Rowe was only able to land eight total strikes in seven minutes, and that's all he needed to get the knockout. Josh Kinlan is a dangerous striker with very real power. He's coming off an incredible knockout on the Contender Series, which was ruled a no contest because of USADA issues. He isn't just a grappler, though. He's a BJJ brown belt and actively competes in grappling competitions. He's a very dangerous guy who has not been to a decision in his professional career, and it's a pretty straightforward breakdown, right? If Josh can defend the takedowns, he wins. If he can't, he's going to get grinded on, and that's it. Very simple. He obviously has the power to knock out Witt, but is he going to be able to use it? Jason Witt is a grinder. He has the pace to constantly come forward and shoot takedowns. In his decision over Brian Barbrena, he attempted 18 takedowns, which is just an insane pace. I think the biggest issue for Witt is even if he can dominate the wrestling, he can't even make one small mistake. One mistake against Roe cost him the entire fight that he was well on his way to dominating. Everything in me wants to pick Witt here. You guys know that I love my wrestlers. Josh can be a bit wild, and Jason Witt will not be wild. He's just going to be diving at legs, looking to grind. But I do worry about his chin. The Philip Rowe fight, I picked him in that fight, and I was cruising, feeling good about that pick, and then it all came crashing down. This could potentially be more of the same. Jason Witt worries me. Josh Kinlan is my pick, but I do have a bet on this fight. It's not money line. I'll tell you what the bet is after Jacob. What do you got going on? Uh, yeah, Josh is just a goddamn savage, man. That dude, that dude is a goddamn savage. And the thing that's going to be a big issue for Jason Witt, I mean, you nailed the breakdown. This is a grappler versus, you know, pretty much a power striker. And Jason Witt's always going to struggle against kind of those dynamic strikers. He's not, he's a, he's a wrestler, but he doesn't have the fastest entries. But as I, I have it in my notes as well, and I did it on my Sunday breakdown, if he gets a hold of your leg, you are going to get taken down. I mean, there is a very good chance that if he's able to get to your leg, that you're going to be taken down. He has pretty good control once he gets you down. Um, if he doesn't get and early take down this fight he is a big big trouble because we've seen his issues with his chin time and time again and the issue that I was alluding to up to this point with Josh is he doesn't need to find you at the end of his shots to knock you out he's not one of those long, like Philip Rowe obviously that worked for him but he's one of those real long strikers that needs to find you at the end of the strikes you know boom boom really extends on the shots when you watch Josh strike a lot of his, his big power is just in the pocket just nice little tight hooks nice little tight shots he still brings that wild power even with those tight shots, which is even more of a disaster for 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 Jason Witt, because normally with strikers, with Jason Witt, if he can get inside that striking, 
he feels safe, right? If you kind of get right inside there, it's hard for people to really throw some power. But Josh is one of those dudes that even if you get inside there nice and tight, if you have a little bit of space and he's throwing hooks and in, in, in uppercuts in those in the pocket like that, he can still knock you out, especially with a chin as suspect as Jason Witt. So I, I made the mistake one time of picking Jason Witt, and he got knocked out in like 13 seconds. I will never pick the Vanilla Gorilla ever again in my life. I'm going Josh all the way. I think he finds that knockout. And his takedown defense looks pretty good. I think even if he gets taken down, you know, Jason Witt is a guy that his, his, his takedowns get less and less effective as the fight goes on. He gets, you know, the more telegraphed that the fight goes on. So even if he gets taken down and controlled maybe in the first round, I think he can survive, come out the second round, and he'd still even find the knockout because Josh looks like he's got good cardio as well. I'm Josh all the way in this. I, I will never trust Jason Witt and his chin ever again. Listen, this is going to be my wife and daughter walked in to say goodnight. That's what that was. But Jason, Get out of here. <laughs> tell her to her face. You know you're afraid of her. This will be Josh's uh, steroid-free fight. So I, I don't know. Does that mean something? I guess we'll find out what a clean Josh fight's like. But uh, we're both on the same side. I do think in DraftKings there is incredible value, honestly, on both of these guys. Because if Jason Witt wins, he's going to score a ton of points. It's going to be takedowns, control. Takedowns, control. But I'm definitely going to go with Josh, uh, Josh in my DraftKings lineup because $8,600 for a probable knockout is incredible value. The dude could score 90, 100 points for eight under that 9,000 price point. Meanwhile, we're talking about Corey McKenna at $9,100. So I, I, you know, I, th I think it's a, a no-brainer at 86. Do you agree? 100% agree. And the bet that I have on this fight, so the last few weeks, if you guys have been watching our betting videos and this, Bet Online is now offering a prop bet called, I don't know what the hell it's called, but who most will get more? Landed. Yeah, most takedowns landed. So who's going to get more takedowns in that fight? There's not a line. It's not more than five takedowns, less than five. It's just who's going to get more between these two. I thought Jason Witt was going to be like a minus 4,700. It was only minus 325 when I placed it. I minus imagine that. Now. You're moving the it? lines. Minus, minus 400? 400 now. Yeah. yeah, so it's moving. I think that's literally free money because if Jason Witt gets zero takedowns, like there's just no takedowns in this fight or they both get, you know, they tie, they both get two, you get a refund. You get your money back. The only way you lose this bet is if the other person gets more takedowns and I just don't see a world where Josh is the one shooting takedowns on Jason Witt. Sometimes the best uh, takedown defense is offensive wrestling. I don't know. I just, uh, I just, well, then I don't you see don't... it either. I, no, okay. I'm playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I don't see it either. I'm just, I'm just trying to put it out there, you know. Well, I think two, two full units on that. Um, so I feel very confident about that. If you guys want to hop on, follow along. Listen, I always tell you people, do your own research. Don't just you people. see. Yeah, you people. Don't just see what we do and then copy it because, yes, we've been killing it recently, but we're going to have a bad week. It's going to happen. Not me. And I don't want that to be the one week that somebody just copy-pasted our bets. This one, though, this is a copy-paste bet. This is a copy-paste. The worst thing I could possibly see here is copy you get a pasta. refund and the bet never happens. So go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. We have five partners, but Bet Online is the one partner that offers this bet. Jump in there, make a deposit, and we will send you 50 bucks as a thank you for supporting us and our partners. So that no brainer, the Monkey Knife Fight strike line 51 to 71. I think it's a less less because even Jason Witt, with all the takedowns, when he wins, he's not landing a ton. It's a lot of control, people are squirming. Uh, Josh should be able to defend a few, threaten on his feet. I don't think he's going to land at 71. Freaking Philip Rowe landed eight and got yeah. the knockout. Josh yeah, isn't needing 71. Yeah, if he lands 13, if he, yeah, if he lands three, it's going to be an issue for Jason Witt. So it's pro I'm going to play less, less. I think it's an early one. I think it's a less, less. Go to weonpicks.com slash MKF. You sign up. They'll instantly match your deposit. Use their deposit match. Use the free money. Play these lines. Honestly, they also have games on there where they take different fighters from different fights and put them together. I would go hunting through those props and just look for Josh and pound the under. Regard, you know, just hit the under. Do a three-person, you know, three for three, four for four, five for five. And if Josh is in there, pound the under. We on picks.com slash MKF.